I am Natasha and Young, and I'm the author of Girls on Paper and Fire. Um, I'm super excited for you guys to discover this book. Uh, it's a very special uh, and important book to me. Uh, it's set in an Asian fantasy world where a demon king takes human girls as his concubines, and it is a love story between two of those girls. And basically follows um, their journey of self-discovery and how far they're willing to fight for their love and the things that they believe in. Um, it's really important to me that we have this kind of representation in uh, fiction, especially uh, YA, so I'm really, really happy that this book is coming to you. So the world of Ikara um, is really a love letter to my heritage. Um, I mixed Chinese and English and my Chinese side is Malaysian Chinese. So I actually grew up between um, the UK and Malaysia and there is just so much um, that I love about my um, Asian uh, side in there, the food, um, just the culture, it's, it's so different and I wanted to bring that um, real sense of uh, this kind of melange um, of cultures that we have in Malaysia into Ikara. So I can't exactly remember when the first idea came to me, but I remember when the first line came to me, there is a tradition in our kingdom. Um, and that came to me when I was in a yoga class and I'd been wanting to write something um, that was uh, that represented myself and um, my experience of growing up um, mixed race and uh, just had this sort of rich fantasy world that I hadn't really felt like I'd, I'd seen um, in current fantasy um, and yeah I was just lying there it popped into my head I rushed home I started writing the first chapter with the prologue which is pretty much exactly as it is now um, and from there I uh, did so much research. Um, Girls is, it is a fantasy, there's a lot of historical influence in there um, and real world influences as well from Malaysian cultures. So we have Chinese, Indian and Malay mixed in. Also um, the fact that I am mixed and I have my British side as well. Um, so it's, you can't quite pinpoint exactly where Akara and culture is inspired from and I really like that. Um, it's for diaspora kids like me. I really love uh, reading YA fantasy, obviously that's like totally my jam, that genre, um, and my, some of my favourite um, authors uh, currently are Lina Taylor, just absolutely love her, will, her world building and her writing is so lush and I think I said earlier it's just like swimming in honey when you read her, her stuff, so love her. Um, also really love Leigh Bardugo, currently rereading Six of Crows at the moment, which I do not recommend if you're trying to write uh, your own book because <laughs> it feels hard to compare um, with that. Um, I also really love um, Philip Reeves' writing, um, Mortal Engines, uh, the film's coming out um, this, uh, I think it's this winter, and yeah, I love that kind of any, any, any book that has this big expansive world that you can really lose yourself in. Um, growing up I was also a fan of The Edge Chronicles by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddle. Um, and outside of books I'm also super inspired by anime. Um, I grew up watching anime, I also grew up watching like K-dramas and um, Chinese kind of soap operas. So I think there's a little bit of influences of that in um, Girls and also love, love, love um, Miyazaki films. Spirited Away is my favourite. I think representation is super important in, um, in fiction and especially YA um, because when you're growing up, um, especially, well for me anyway, reading was um, a way that I came to understand the world and I came to understand myself. And so having stories where you can see yourself represented um, just really helps with that process of self-discovery. Um, and I also think it helps us learn about other people as well and um, other points of view and other situations.